behold my stuff. So I've decided to try to make essentially what's a bolt action 300 blackout AR. And I'm gonna do it mainly trying to use stuff that I've have laying around the shop. Uh, with the exception of this, because uh, I'm doing this on a budget, I just went and picked up a Bear Creek Arsenal side charging upper receiver. This was actually uh, a complete upper receiver with a 16 inch 5.56 barrel on it. I went ahead and just ripped that off and, and threw it in the back somewhere. Uh, and I'm just using the upper receiver with uh, the side charging bolt carrier group. So that's the plan there. Um, from a barrel, I'm going to use this Ballistic Advantage 5R 300 Blackout 16 inch barrel. It's a 5R, so it should be pretty pretty accurate. I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't tried one out yet, uh, so it'll be fun. And this is a pistol length gas system, obviously. There's going to be a lot of back pressure, uh, which is a bit of a problem because I'm trying to build an AR that's essentially bolt action on a budget. So to do that, I'm going to use my Strike Industries adjustable gas block. Uh, these are pretty slick. I've got uh, one of these on another AR of mine, and it actually shuts it all the way down to zero. Uh, so I'm going to use this as a mechanism to turn it all the way down to zero and then just use a side charging action to go ahead and cycle the rounds. And then obviously the cool part is uh, if I really, really want to, I can just you know dial it back up and then it's back to semi-auto, so that'll be pretty slick. Um, but in order to do that dialing, I'm gonna use my Strike Industries uh, Gridlock Light. Uh, these are pretty slick. They've got this little uh, disconnecting action where essentially once it's attached to the firearm, you just pull the lever move it to that position and it'll slide off the barrel nut and you can adjust your gas block. So it's, it's actually kind of a, a cool little product they got uh, and it looks pretty sick too. So that'll be, that'll be nice. And then other odds and ends, I just have this lower receiver. This one's uh, actually got a left hand bolt catch release. So it'll be nice because with one hand, uh, my trigger finger will be able to drop the action if I want to. So that'll be pretty sexy. Uh, and then I'm just gonna use this guy uh, to attach my suppressor to, and I just happen to have one of these laying around. And then obviously um, I'm gonna use uh, an all blacked out gas tube just to make the whole thing like super stealth mode. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sucker together and then uh, we'll take it to the range and we'll see if it does what I want it to do, which is to basically be a bolt action 300 blackout and super silent because it won't be uh, kicking gas back to cycle the action. So that's the plan. So right off the bat, I ran into a problem. This billet Bear Creek upper receiver has a non-mill spec uh, cut to it. Here you can see it's just straight angles. However, my hand guard from Strike Industries has these anti-rotation tabs on it. And as tends to happen, uh, they just didn't fit well together. So what I did was I went ahead and I used this uh, very high-tech tool. I just grabbed a file here and I went on the inside of these anti-rotation tabs and I just filed it uh, for about 15 minutes and that fixed that problem. So this sucker snugs up there nicely now. All right, so she's all put together. Ended up putting this Magpul PRS light stock on it. Then I installed a straight bow Timony trigger with a three pound pull, so that should work pretty well for the overall concept. Here's that side charging action that we were aiming for. Uh, and then right now I've got the gas system all dialed down to zero, so there should be no gas cycling it. Uh, the whole point of that is just to make it super, super silent when I run it suppressed. Uh, if I want to dial it back up and make it effectively semi-auto, all I gotta do is undo this latching mechanism, and I'll pull the handguard back, and right here you can see I can dial that uh, Strike Industries adjustable gas block. But for right now, I'm going to leave it dialed all the way down to zero. I'm going to go ahead and get it back on, and we'll take it to the range and try it out.
I had a lot of fun at the range of this rifle. The action was really smooth. Uh, gas block did exactly what I wanted it to. I was able to turn it all the way down to nothing. I got no movement of the bolt carrier group when it was turned down. So that was pretty cool. Uh, it was definitely a little bit quieter than a standard semi-auto, uh, but I wouldn't call it dramatic. Um, does it look cool? Yes. Is it fun to shoot? Yes. Am I glad I built it? Yes.